Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A and yes, it's the end of July, beginning of August that I do my end of the month faves and flops. And yes, I still managed to find some even though I just did my mid-month a couple weeks ago. I went to a powwow last weekend and had a good time. Okay, well let's start with some booze, shall we? <laughs> this is, um, it's new from um, the Yellowtail brand, which is an Australian wine. I know a lot of you cheapskates with wine like I am remember this when it first came out. The Shiraz was really good. Um, I, of course, have become a little bit of a wine snob. I'm not always out of the box. <laughs> But this, I just noticed, this is their low-cal, um, lower alcohol wine. And this version of the Pinot Grigio, it's called Pure Bright. That's the label that they're putting on their diet wine, I guess you could call it. It's really good. Look at this. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I have another replacement in the refrigerator. But the Pinot Grigio is really nice. I was so surprised that it, it didn't taste, you know, there's that kind of gacky rough kind of taste that uh, cheap wines can have sometimes you know it's either too syrupy or it's too short you know it's too earthy and icky and you know gritty like this is excellent for a pinot grigio that's a diet wine it's lower alcohol lower calories this is pretty good so this is the yellowtail pure bright line and they have it rosé they have a uh, Chardonnay, they have a, Cab a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Pinot Noir, so um, have a look at this because that is pretty good for summer drinking if you don't want to get too drunk too fast, which you know as I've gotten older it seems like I can't hardly drink half a glass of wine, I'm on the table, <laughs> so <laughs> this is really good for old, old drunks. Okay. <laughs> um, I've been, you know, I have a couple of skin tags and I thought I would try this and I'm so disappointed. I mean, I followed all the directions. It's one of those things where you, it looks like a spray can and, and you have these things that are, are tubes with like a Q-tip at the end. And you attach the Q-tip to one end and you stick it in here and then you attach this on this end, I shake it, you push it down for five seconds, three, four, five, see all that coldness coming out of there? So now this is going to freeze whatever you put it on. It's See that icy, icy cold thing? So let me just freeze it here. And it makes this kind of sizzling noise and you're kind of freezing it off like they do at the uh, dermatologist's office. So I'm just sticking it on there, freezing it. They say 40 seconds. Three, four, it's snap, crackle, popping. <laughs> and then you remove this and you throw it away. And you have, um, for each skin tag you have, you would just do that for 40 seconds and stick it on there. I. I don't think it's working. Um, that's the Dr. Scholl Skin Tag Remover. I don't know. It, it's just, it, it seems like it's a, you know, it hurt. It 
turned a little white and I don't know and you're supposed to use these things to pull on it while you're putting it on but they don't work very well at all these things I, I just yeah so I think this was a fail it was like 20 bucks I think it would probably have just been cheaper to go to a dermatologist and let them do it I don't know I'm a cheapskate I always try to do things at home you know no it's a no I did get a replacement for this. I love this skin cleanser. This is the Foaming Gel Cleanser from La Cura. I hope you can see with all the lights. Yikes. Um, this is the um, makeup remover and cleanser in one. You can find this in Aldi or you can get it on Amazon. Um, Aldi has this for like $3.49 or $3.99. It's my favorite cleanser. I use it, I have it in the shower. I use this and then I use my uh, Roselli uh, Sex Appeal uh, Exfoliant, which you know works really nicely on your face. It's really helping my skin a lot because I have a lot of skin damage from you know not using any sunscreen until I was like 50. <laughs> it's really bad. So this I do recommend. This is the the pump bottle. Don't get the the squeezy tube one. That is for acne and for oily skin, and it's really strips your skin. I didn't like that at all. But this one is really nice uh, from Aldi. It's the La Cura, which is a German brand. They're kind of, they're kind of mid-level, I would say, on the par with Neutrogena or, um, you know, the higher-end L'Oreal. Uh, it's on par with that, so it's a really good deal at the $3.99, whatever. And I've tried so many cleansers, you know. There's some cleansers to me that work. I have a retinol cleanser that I'm using now, um, the Ella one. But... I think this is great. Can't beat the price. Uh, for food, I want to talk about this is out. It's a seasonal item. I normally like the Boston cream pie flavor in the Chobani flips, but they have just seasonally and it's only out for like two months. This is the Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. This tastes like pumpkin pie filling, but it's Greek yogurt. So I'm going to show you. Let's see. There we go. How's that? Can you see it? It's delicious. It's like eating a piece of pumpkin pie. And it's not the lowest calorie yogurt on the market, but it's really, really good. Absolutely excellent. So, uh, and they only have it like August, September, October, and then it's gone. So I'd say this is, this is one of the better ones. Um, I'm a real sucker for things that I see on, on, uh, on Facebook you know I'm always seeing something new and they were showing this shirt and it's it's kind of like you know how Dickies just look like you're wearing a shirt but it's not a whole shirt it's just part well this is the other side this this is a button-down shirt and you wear it like a little mini skirt and you put your other sweater over the top of it so like if you have a, a short uh, Sure, you can put this under and it looks like there's a shirt underneath and it gives you another layer of length, especially if you're getting a little curvy like me, if you know what I mean. Getting a little bit curvy, so this hides and it can hide the camel toe if you're wearing leggings. Uh, this is a really nice idea. You have to size up on these things, like one to two sizes up higher than what you wear. Like if you're an XL, get a 2XL. Um, it's because uh, you can always pinch it at the top, but you need that extra uh, layer and stretch on the bottom. So this goes around, you know, just goes around your waist. And when you put other shirts over the top, um, I have like, this is one of my favorite sweaters. And it's just nice to have like this underneath it. You know, it'll just give me that that look and I'm not going to model for you because right now I'm not feeling very modely <laughs> at all so you can see that um, it goes with a variety of things like if you have a shirt like this you know you can put it under and it looks like you've got another shirt layered underneath so you don't have all the bulk up top of a shirt but you do have and they call these shirt extenders and they come in really cute like plaid and they have striped ones and they So, I mean, it's a nice little investment piece, like you would get a dickie or, you know, something for the top, 
this would be really cute for the bottom because this extend out a lot of us have shirts that just are a little bit too short and just adding this little layer underneath such a cool thing this is this is still available uh, on the website and this is Betsy Johnson's makeup and this little teeny thing I, I couldn't believe this was so um, this is the Galaxy Beauty makeup kit and it's got um, it's got a pull-out section. Now these aren't bad. The lip glosses are very sheer. They all smell like chocolate, like melted Hershey's Kisses. And the um, the blush, the highlight, and the bronzer are okay. These eyeshadows are extremely high quality for like what you would think is toy makeup. I mean, they really do. I've been dipping into this a lot this week, and I've really enjoyed this palette. Uh, it's got a nice variety of colors. The quality's there. And I guess she puts out a series every Christmas time, every, you know, December. So maybe in November you'll start, you know, October, November, you'll see a new series come out. Uh, and I will have a special on her life pretty soon. So um, uh, I did want to kind of do a little bit of a public service announcement. Um, as you know, Canada is having these horrible uh, wildfires and the smoke from them I mean, it's not bad enough that they've got like two, two United States size versions of, of wildfire destroyed forests, um, but the smoke from that has drifted down into the U.S. And if, if you live in any of the states where the smoke has drifted down, you may want to clean your air conditioner filter. This is something that you probably don't even think about, but you know, we've all, because it's been so hot, we've all had our air conditioners on. And if you open up your air conditioner, I'll just show you mine. Just open it up and then just pull out that rack and you'll see all the crap on there. Uh, there was a lot of smoke and dust on mine, so I just took it into my kitchen sink and I used an old to toothbrush and I just scrubbed it. can soak it in uh, soapy water with Dawn and rinse it really well and dry it. You can dry it with your blow dryer. Um, but clean out your air conditioner filters. I, you know, and even just cleaning out the uh, outer, you know, the outer grates, I found all kinds of crap went down onto my carpet. So it's a really good idea to clean that. Um, and I wanted to talk about <laughs> PR and I know I, I mentioned that I, I didn't really want to take PR anymore because it's just it's so stressful to have to um, you know make a video for somebody who sent you something and if, especially you feel pressured to have to sell it to your viewers and I don't like to sell things I, I didn't even like selling Girl Scout cookies when I was a Girl Scout so um, when um, these people contacted me they said, oh, you've got to see, you know, we have great, it's great fun for women. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll see what this is. And I thought, I'm thinking like some kind of hairstyling thing. <laughs> i got to show you the first page of the products. They want me to show you and demonstrate for you. They had mouth gags and sex parts and I, you know, vibrating things and things that were this long, things that were this long, and things that were long for both people. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> how am I going to demonstrate that? I mean, you know, I could probably put that little cat cat mask on, but the ball gag, then I can't talk. <laughs> oh, safe word is banana. <laughs> 
Anyway, um, I, needless to say, I said, no thank you. And they wrote back and they said, can we ask why? Is there some other product you would like? And I said, look, I'm 65 and I don't think my viewers are interested in this stuff. And then I said, thank you. The answer is no. So they wrote back, well, we look forward to our next cooperation. I'm like, jeepers, crow. Okay. I'm excited about this. Um, I happen to be looking, because I was going to the Powell and it was going to be outside. Um, I have some, some old sunscreens and stuff that are a couple years old. I haven't really updated them and I had one small tube of one that I used up. So I went looking in the um, SPF sunscreen area and I found this Eucerin, Eucerin Sensitive Mineral Face. It's tinted. It's tinted. And I'll be darned, this was pretty nice. It's a um, very thin layer. And it says it's adjustable to all these skin types. <laughs> right. Hello. <laughs> no, it, it is not adjustable to all those skin types. But I think what it is, is it disappears uh, on your skin. Let me just um, put this here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a very, very thin layer. And it's a little shiny. You gotta let it set for about 20 minutes. And then you can put the rest of your makeup on. I like to use it with the Moira powder makeup because this is outstanding. So this Moira powder makeup goes over the top of that so nicely. The combination of these two, I wore it all day. It was really hot and humid. The sun was shining, I was sweating. And this stuff held up with this. I did not get sunburned, but I got really badly sunburned on my scalp. Let me just put this on. Yeah, it looks great. I got a little bit darker color in the morning, so I was tanner than normal, which was kind of, I had to do everything, you know, just tanner than normal. But I had a really good time at that powwow. That was kind of neat. So the Moira powder makeup, along with this Eucerin 35, uh, this worked so well. I did not get a stitch of sunburn. I had it on my hands and my lower arms that were exposed. I did not get one stitch of sunburn, so this worked really well. Plus, it gave me a nice little light layer, covered over some of my age spots a little bit, kind of toned them down. So I thought it was great. I think that um, this was a really nice purchase. And I used my CVS, you know, extra care cash bucks, you know, that, that they have the cash, yeah, yeah. And it worked really nice with that. So I do recommend that. And especially if you're going to any kind of events outside, I mean, don't, don't skip on the, on the sunscreen because my scalp is so burned because I've got to wear a hat. Oh my gosh. Now it's going to probably peel and look all icky. I had a little bit of an adventure earlier this week. I um, went to put trash in the trash. We have a trash dumpster on the side. And we slide open the door and we put the trash bag in, it rolls in and everybody's trash stacks up. I live in a condo building. And I happened to hear shuffling. And I, when I opened the door, there was these two baby raccoons in there and they had been trapped because the doors were closed and it was a dumpster and it was really hot. And I said, oh, you poor things, you know. So I carefully put my trash down so they could climb on it. And uh, then I put a stick down so they could grab onto the stick and get out that way. But I was so nervous about them because people, you don't even think about it when you open your dumpster, you just chuck your trash in. So uh, there's another public service <laughs> announcement. Here's a picture of one of them that um, was having trouble getting up and I put my trash on top so that they could climb out. But they, they did get out because later on I went back after work and checked. This is an eyeshadow base from NYX. Now it's white, but what I do is I just use a thin layer, and if you thin it out, just thin it out uh, really thin, it's just a, a slightly light sheen, and it does kind of uh, take out a lot of discoloration. You can't use more than just a very little amount of it, though, or else it looks too white, and then you've got that kind of clown thing going on. The MAC one is kind of just right, so it's really hard to use too much because it just spreads nicer. This spreads a little too easily. It's a little bit too thin, and uh, so you have to use just a teeny bit, and I think it works nicely that way. 
this is also from NYX. This is the pore filler. And I thought it would be like that Maybelline Master one, you know, where you can you can just kind of stop with the pores and stuff and just do spot treatments. I don't know. I I, I don't think it really did that much. And I was trying to um, you know, try one side with it and one side without to see if it actually did anything. And it actually did help around my nose and right up up here where I have a lot of my 11s and all those other fun things you get when you're in your 60s. As far as pore filling and stuff, I didn't think it really did that much of a good job with that. So I don't think I would buy this again. And that is the NYX Pore Filler. Okay, Facebook again. This is everywhere. It's viral. It's all these. You see these women. And I hate watching these fast TikTok things, these little short reels where they're blurry to begin with. They're kind of blurry and then they're right up in there and they're all blurry and they don't look all that good. And they stick this in the, in the, in there and it looks so big, but it's tiny. It's the same size as, well, it is a concealer. This is the, You know, this is Almay's concealer, and this is Fiera. Fiera is, they say it's the best concealer in the world, and they, and this is the box it comes in. It's $39, but they give you, right now they're giving this brush with it, this brush to apply it, and you show, it shows them on there, they, you know, they're just like, they're sticking, they're sticking it on here, or they're sticking it on the brush, and they're going, ooh, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, but it's a concealer. But what I'm going to have to say here is I really like it. It reminds me a lot of that cover-up stuff that came out, that magic concealer that came out that, that was as seen on TV. Um, it went out of business and I loved that. It was an easy cover or something it was called. I think it's the same stuff. It's Fiera and I have the um, neutral beige color. That's a good light shade. Um, I use it as both a concealer and you can use it to spot touch, but if you use it as a foundation, it's not going to last very long. And that tiny little tube is only 15 mLs. And, um, you know, like this is so they're about the same size. So when they show you those ads on Facebook, it looks like it's, you know, really huge, but it's not huge. <laughs> it's, it's have wrinkles. <clears throat> it um, just has a beautiful natural finish. I do like it a lot, Fiera. And this brush, if you buy it on the site, I think it's $27 or something just for the brush. They give it to you free with this purchase of this. So right now I think they're giving it free until uh, September. So I would I would recommend this. I think it's probably one of my favorite uh, concealers. Like I said, it reminds me so much of that easy cover thing that they had a couple of years ago as seen on TV. Really good. Fiera, Fiera concealer. Yep, for once the hype is real. I really feel that it is a good concealer. It supposedly has skin um, properties, skin conditioning properties in it that are supposed to help your skin over a long term. I don't know about that part, but it worked really nicely as a concealer and it worked really nicely as a base. And I put like a little bit of powder foundation over the top of it and you can get by with just those things. So it is a great deal with the brush. It's a really good deal. So I do recommend this right now. Um, really, really good. So I wanted to talk a little bit about ThreadUp because I have been talking about it for years, but they just sent me a coupon to give to people for 40% off your first order. And 40% off of ThreadUp's prices is pretty good. And um, I don't get commission. I mean, in fact, if you buy something from ThreadUp, they give you a code to give to people. So it's not uh, anything because I'm a YouTuber or anything like that. But 40% off is worth having a look at the website. With ThreadUp, uh, you can get clothes that are brand new. You can get um, with tags. You can get clothes that maybe somebody just tried them on or they, you know, just had them in their closet. You know, everybody's downsizing. And if it's something they never wore or hardly wore, 
it's worth it. You know, you just wash everything when you get it, and it's yours. You know, it's and it's great for the environment. It's great for the earth. Um, it takes gallons and gallons of water to produce one piece of clothing, and the pricing is so good. You can get luxury brands too. Um, all of my clothes, pretty much 75% of my clothes come from ThreadUp or from some other thrift store. And it's like, let's see, I have this, this thing here. <laughs> um, I get a lot of stuff from there. And what you can do is you can filter just by, if you're just looking for tops, or you're just looking for jackets, or you're just looking for trousers, just looking for jeans, um, just looking for um, layering pieces. Uh, if you just want something from soft surroundings, if you just want something from uh, Catherine's, uh, uh, or if you just want something from, um, you know, Gap or, or Old Navy, or you know, if, if you can pick the brand, you can even pick really high end brands. If you want a gown for uh, a wedding coming up, um, you can do really, really pretty dresses for ten dollars. You know, fifteen dollars. You can get a beautiful dress, um, and you can pick just your size. They'll just show you things just in your size. You can even have it sorted from the lowest price up to the higher price, so you can see what's the cheapest. They have sales all the time, so you can use a special code and get a sale price. But if you use the link that I have below, um, you'll get 40% off of your order. And I don't know if there's a cap on how many people can use that link, but if it doesn't work, I put a second code that gives you $10 off your first order. So um, I, I so recommend it. The only um, I'm a super duper shopper. I'm at the top tier shopper <laughs> for ThreadUp. So, and I send a lot of my clothes there. I recycle my clothes. After every season, I send my, my clothes in there. So there's some of my clothes in there right now and my shoes and stuff are in there right now that are for sale. So I highly recommend you have a look on the site if you're looking for something unique. Um, let me see. Let me show you this cute, this is a cute um, blouse. This is a really nice layering piece. You can wear it through summer, through fall. Um, it's just so pretty, you know, with, with a cardigan over it or something, and you can use that layering piece underneath it. But I think this was like $3.99 or something, <laughs> it's just, I've used it so much, I really enjoy it. But you can get some really unusual things. Um, the sizing, uh, they're really good about, like if you want shoes or booties, or if you want, you know, Especially for like weddings and stuff, you would probably not want to spend way too much money on a dress that you're only going to maybe wear once this summer and maybe maybe you'll wear it next summer, maybe not, but why spend a lot of money on it if you don't have to? So ThreadUp is one of my favorite places to shop. It's very relaxing to me scrolling through the clothes and I mean you can even say I only want to look at gray sweaters in my size. And I want them, you know, the lowest price to the highest. And you'll see every gray sweater they have. And they have hundreds of thousands of clothing items. And like I said, the only thing that I'm really not that keen about with ThreadUp is that they take about two weeks to get it to you. It takes two weeks. I'm so spoiled. I mean, I'm used to Amazon, like sending it, you, you put in an Amazon order and you get it like tomorrow. You know, <laughs> it's really hard. Um, ThreadUp likes to, between now and next week, any, if you want to go back to the site, if you see something else, you can add to the order and it won't charge you any shipping for it. And you can earn points with your, set, you know, with your purchases and you get 100 points and that gives you free shipping next time. So I mean there's a lot of little deals that they have, but I think they have great stuff. I mean you can see if you have like uh, seasonal stuff. And you can, they, they pay the shipping, you can get a bag from them and put your own stuff in and send it to them and they'll sell it and you'll get a percentage of what they sell. They don't give you very much for it, but they pay for everything, it's really neat. And you get credit for that and you can purchase clothes with that. So I have some shopping credit. So whenever you use my codes for the $10 off or the, um, the 40% off, they give it to me too. So it's like, it really helps me out because then I get $10 too. It's good for both of us. So, and those of you who have used it, thank you so much. They 
my exciting makeup item of the month. What do you think it is? Do you know? Oh, could it be the dinosaur palette? <gasps> <laughs> this is the Jurassic World and Profusion palette. Absolutely great. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I saw this. Um, I might have, who was it that was talking about it? Oh, Teresa is dead. I love her. She's just great. I love her. her. Her reviews are so good. She gets everything early too. But she she got this and she got the whole set. She got the blushes and the lip glosses and everything else. Um, I just got this one and I had to get it on um, Mercari. Mercari. I had to get it on Mercari because it was sold out everywhere. And what it was is Profusion um, hadn't released it yet, but they just sent it out to all of the. Um, the YouTubers that they wanted to do, you know, specials. I don't know, this person didn't use theirs at all. And they sent it in. I think there's two versions of this. This is the um, 38 shade palette. Uh, it's Jurassic World and Profusion. You get, um, the set includes 32 shadows and pressed uh, pigments, five pressed glitters, and a mirror and a bronzer. But um, let me just show you, this is the mirror. <laughs> and I love these pressed glitters. Look how they are in these, this little, let me just pull this strip off. They put the names on this, darn them. But look at the, their footprints. <laughs> and they are, hello, hello. Look at this one. Yeah, woof. Do you see this? Okay, let me just put it on my arm. Let me put it on my arm so I can see. Okay. Worse, I do the worst. Okay. But they were very unique and pretty in their color. The shifty. Um, they get everywhere, all over your face. And then you look like a glitter bomb, see? <laughs> um, and then the center, again, all the names are on the plastic sheet, darn them. Look at this with the eyeball. <laughs> Right up. There you go. You can see it now. Look at all these colors. I am wearing it today. Um, this is, it's shaped like an eyeball, but it's a very nice, it's a shimmer highlight. It's not a bronzer. I mean, come on. I actually use it, can use it as an eyeshadow. Yeah. Now the palette has some good colors in it. Um, I was just in disappointed in a way. I mean, this was very interesting. You know, I love the footprints. The eyeshadows were kind of neat. The mirror's okay. Um, I don't really care about mirrors, honestly. It's not really a, a thing. But you can make a couple of eye looks with it. I didn't think they were all that impressive as far as the quality goes. Um, but I love the kitsch of it and I love having a dinosaur in my collection because I love dinosaurs. I do. I just love them. <laughs> so cute. So um, yeah, I, they're coming out in, in Walmart of all places. In Walmart you will see a display of these um, with Profusion if your Walmart sells Profusion, but I think they send them to a lot of the Walmarts that don't normally have Profusion either. It's an end, it's gonna be an end cap and they're gonna have, um, the blushes and lip stuff weren't really that impressive. 
um, as far as I remember Teresa's review. She liked the um, she liked the eyeshadow palette because she could do some funky looks with it. And she liked those glitters, but uh, they did get everywhere, and I, I didn't have good luck with them when I tried to use them. I was going to do a, a glitter eye look with it. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but it was sure, sure a lot of fun. At work, I have all of my um, paper clips in here. He's great. Isn't he great? I got him at a thrift store, too. <laughs> I love dinosaurs. And we've got one of those dinosaur shows coming into town, you know, when they have the real tall ones and you take selfies with them and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I got glitter all over me here. Yee! Hello. All right, I want to show you a little hack I saw on online, and I can't quite believe it. I'm going to do this. All right, let's see if I can do this. You take a bobby pin. See the bobby pin? And you put it here and then you're going to take this eyeliner and it's like a it's like a mold for the eyeliner and you can place it wherever you want but it winds up doing your eyeliner exactly where you want it. So it does work. It's a little awkward, um, but they use the bobby pin and you put the rounded part right next to where it was and you can angle up where you want that line to go and then you just take your eyeliner and it's just a little template. And then you take it off and you can just, you know, carve in with some eyeshadow how you want it. So I'm, I'm kind of impressed with that hack. I thought it worked pretty well. I think it works especially with older eyes because we we can think if we just take it to the end it'll work but it doesn't it droops down so if you actually place it and put the template there it'll go up for you so it does work I think it's a great little hack this was fabulous this is the Moira Sugar Delight palette this is the perfect nude palette uh, it lasts all day it uh, works in uh, hot sunny humid um, outdoor events really really nice it is the perfect nude palette you can do basic eye looks with this and then you can add color from other palettes if you wish but I think it's fabulous look at this this glitter is still everywhere I'm just gonna put this on the top <laughs> yeah yeah so um, yeah I, I've been trying to decide whether to use Moira or not do a like a special on them but I just I'm not liking enough of their products and this I do like it is an under eye kind of uh, pencil it's a shimmery cocoa color and that works nicely and that lasts really well uh, right now I have the purple there from um, from the palette here I use the purple glitter uh, under my eye for that, that beautiful shade here what's it called these shade names are hilarious. Let me just read some of them. Uh, we have um, Mosasaurus, Remarkable, Isla Nublar, Hybrid Clash, Security Clearance, Indominus Rex, Trainer Wanted. We have Must Go Faster, Velociraptor, Hide, High Voltage, Speed, System Shutdown. We have Scared Yet, and that's with the eye here, that little um, uh, thing. We have uh, Stegosaurus, this is pretty dark uh, olive green. 
Clever Girl, Proximity Alert, Warning is the red shade, the pigment, the red shade. Uh, Run, T-Rex, and there's actually an imprint of a T-Rex in there. Um, Brachiosaurus, and that's a nice lighter olive green. Uh, Paleontologist is a beautiful uh, gold color, and that's a shimmer. We have um, Tetradon, Mr. DNA, Dino Trail, or Dino Trail, Roar, which is a beautiful um, shimmery kind of golden red, More Teeth, Triceratops, Instinct to Hunt, Paleo Vet, Preserve, Show the Claws, and Lookout Point. So I think that the, the names are hilarious. We have Jurassic World, uh, Nature Takes Over, Life Finds a Way, Ready for Battle, and I'm Alpha at the top. It does have a shimmer switch to it, to like an orangey pink color. But again, the glitter just went everywhere. It goes, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to need some of that wine, I tell you. Okay, they said this was new in the drugstore, and I, you know, with brow products, I don't know what's new and what's really new, you know, or what's new and what I've already tried that's new, and it's just an old package that says new. So this is the Revlon Color Stay Micro Brow Pencil, and it worked pretty nicely. It worked um, nicely. I like the color. Um, the, the spoolie on the other side is nice. I think it works nicely, especially when you combine it with the um, Essence Make Me Brow. And this is the Blondie Brows shade. I think these two together are really nice. So the new Revlon uh, Brow Pencil. I don't think there's anything super special about it. I mean, it lasted nicely. It looks good. You know, but um, I think you really need to work on them to make them look a little more natural. But they're good for filling. I like using pencils for filling and I like using those thin little um, liquid lines to make the individual hairs. So yeah, these are a nice combination together. I didn't think anything was special about it, but I had the, the extra bucks cash from CVS, so I, I bought this. And uh, yeah, kind of nice. I'm still enjoying the uh, Lottie London uh, false or fake. This is a mascara and it works just as well as my uh, Thrive. So the pricing is much less. It works just as well as the Thrive. Um, makes a nice big old honking lash. It does not leave dings. You have to let it dry but it does not leave dings on your upper lid if you have hooded eyes and it doesn't uh, flake off and leave little you know, crumblies on your cheek. After a long hot day at the Powell, I did wear this mascara and it didn't budge. So that's impressive. So the Lottie London uh, Super Fake Lash Mascara. Um, I think you can get this at Ulta. Really, really good. I might have gotten it on Ulta or on Amazon. I'll link it below so you have it. But it works just as well as the Thrive. And I, you know, it's hard for me to say that because I love, you know, how I love Thrive. So, <laughs> for lippies, um, I finally tried it. I was the last kid on the block to try this. And um, these are the um, the Color Stay Matte Light Crayons. I think the word matte kept me from wanting to use this. This is the shade one, I believe. What is this? This is the shade Tread Lightly, and you can line with these. You can fill in your lips. It's a really nice color for summer. Um, it's a soft matte. It's got a little bit of a lipstick kind of taste to it, but not bad. I think it's great. I think this is great. And uh, this is put on by Revlon. Revlon makes great lip products. Um, I like to use it with the Wet n Wild. Uh, this is one of their lip glosses. I think the combination of these two is really nice. Yep. 
And um, I also got this one from Wet n Wild. It's a very bright, light um, coral color, but it's a lip gloss. And I think along the same lines as the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, these work nicely. I just put it over the top. Get a little bit of color from them. Get a lot of um, hydration and moisture. Looks nice, looks nice. So um, let me just check out these two colors for you to see what they are. This one is Attitude Check, this pinky one. And then this is Pink Champagne Please. This shiny one. I really like this as a topper. I think it looks beautiful over lipsticks. It's really beautiful. I'm still using these um, these Impress uh, lashes on the end. I have them on there. I'm down to my last one. I don't know how I have one left. <laughs> I have one left. Um, yeah, you you stick them on the inside of your lashes rather than the top down you push them from the bottom up and I've got one on each end here and I think it's just enough you know it's it's not too much you don't feel it if you've got them on right you don't feel it and they just stick there you don't need to use any kind of you know strip glue or anything else they are pre-glued themselves you literally take them off stick them up and that's it they're on and it's just like the ad that they have the girl does that she sticks them up. She puts a couple of them on, though, on each side. So, um, on my other big news this month is I have become, I'm a notary public. I, I took the Connecticut test, and I took the online course and the Connecticut test, and I got my commission uh, this month. So I'm a Connecticut notary public. I needed it for work, so I mean, I got it. wasn't just I didn't just do this, you know. So, but now I have my own stamp, and I'm kind of excited. I have one of those seal things too that's coming that tells you know my commission ends and all that. So, um, yeah, they do an extensive background check, and I thought, oh God, you know, between my divorces and my name changes and where I've moved and everything else, I look like a you know somebody who's under protective custody or something. But they, they passed me and, you know, so I, I took the test, I passed it. It was very hard too. I mean, they wanted detailed oaths and they wanted all these questions, trick questions and everything else. It was quite hard. Each state has a notary public exam that's different. I guess Louisiana's is the hardest. Who knew? So anyway, I'm a notary public as of this um, month. I was very excited about that. So. It's been kind of an eventful month, and I'm working still. I'm just about finishing up now on my boarding school um, video. I, I'm learning a new photo editing program, and I'm going to try and do um, do that because the program that I use to make these videos is it's old. It's it's Windows um, Movie Maker, which is not even in existence anymore. I have like a black, a dark dark web copy of it <laughs> you see it's still from like 2012 or something it's really old and it doesn't do split screen and it won't put like the product in the corner while i'm talking and i'm like i want to do that stuff so i'm t i'm self teaching myself how to use a new photo program well anyway okay horatio i think we should blow this joint and have some wine yeah okay <laughs> yeah okay so I hope all of you are having a wonderful week. Stay cool. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll have that Betsy Johnson special for you for next week. And uh, play safe, everybody. Take care. Toodles.